In this lecture, we'll be talking about the data flow in Power BI. We have already seen how to create the data flow and this data flow was created based on the source of Google Analytics. So there could be any source using this data flow. Now you can connect to the Power BI desktop. So I'll go here to Power BI desktop. You'll click here, get data and you can see here data flow is available here. Now you can import the data from data flow. You can see here, these are two options which are available. And here is the workspace from workspace we have created two data flows right now if i see here in syncbricks so you can see here data flow shukranuman and this is syncbricks website so this one was the data flow i'll choose this and here is that table which was created using this table i'll now link this table to my data set so based on this table i'm now creating the data set here and now you can see here it will be loading the data directly from the power bi service from this data flow so now the data set which is being created here on power bi desktop is being linked to that data flow i can see here that all the information has started coming here just for the sake of this tutorial i'll just show you suppose i want to see a chart i'll drop in month here in the x-axis uh, i'll be dropping the total users here in the y-axis and here you can see change of the users you can of course make the changes the way you want bring in the data labels and now i will just publish this to power bi service so i'll save it first and now i'll be publishing this publish this here and it will be published to the moment it will be published it will create the data set and report here so we'll be waiting for this it has been published let me just refresh this and show you that in the lineage view this shukran uman which was created here data flow data set has been created and that data set was is published here and this data set is of course having one report here so if i open this report right now you will see here same report is appearing here if i go back to the data set and try to refresh this data set which is the data set based on the data flow now it has been refreshed here so what i can do here now i can go back to the to the list view here and i can just schedule the refresh here i'll click here schedule the refresh here i'll be choosing the refresh I'll be refreshing this daily, for example, 1 a.m. And I need to refresh the data set also. And here is the Grandman Google Analytics. And here, if you see Gateway Connection, you don't need the Gateway Connection for this data set because it is on the cloud. And of course, it is already linked to the data flow. But I will be refreshing this data. I'll just enable the refresh. And if you remember that on UTC or it was on GMT plus four, I'll, I'll change that date also because this is the data set. I'll be refreshing this at 2 a.m. Because data flow will refresh by 1 a.m. And based on the data flow, of course, data set is connected to data flow. So once the data flow is refreshed, then only data set has to be refreshed. So I'll be saving this, apply this here. And now I'll go back again to the data flow and I'll again configure this particular data refresh here i'll choose my time zone and this one i'll be refreshing before that data flow will refresh by 1 am and this data set will refresh by 2 am so if i show you that in a lineage view so we'll go here first of all the google analytics of course it is linked here already so data flow will be refreshing the data from the google analytics every night by 1 am and this data set which is linked to the data flow it will be refreshing by 2 a.m so every time 2 a.m the refresh will take place and it will directly fetch the data and my report will be available by 2 a.m a refreshed report so right now if you see i can edit this here the year which is selected of course i need to change the year also to make sure that i see the current year only So here I can see the comparison between the total users versus the new users. This was the way we used the data flow to get the data from different services. So if I go back here to data flow, you can of course get the data from a variety of online services and you can have any API. If I show you the API also, so you can have the data from any web API sap online you can have the azure sql service online 
the Dynamic 365 or uh, Salesforce and various other resources are available. So you can fetch the data from there. I'll try to add the videos. And if you are facing any problem, send me the message. I'll guide you how we can connect to other resources or other sources. Microsoft is also enhancing this feature and more and more features being added.